Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Yugensuki Racing, and today I'm going to show you how I shim the ring and pinion on my Mugen vehicles. So before getting started, you always want to make sure you connect the center drive shaft to the pinion. That way the pinion uh, is in the proper position and can't, can't float. And then what I like to do is just install the diff and diff case cover, spin it, see how it sounds. Also check the end play. And for this, as you can hear, it's a little bit tight. So what I'm gonna do is take one shim and add it to the diff case side or diff cup. That way it actually loosens up the mesh, pushes the gear away. Reinstall that. Still just a, a little bit tight. I'll just with my finger check uh, the end play. And you can see it just kind of ticks back and forth just a little bit. And for buggy, that's that's fine. Um, for Truggy, it does need to be a little bit tighter, but I'll show you uh, that a little later in the video. So then the next thing I do is take a little bit of grease from Protec and just put, you don't need much, just a, a little bit. Go ahead and spin that to where you have a thin coat. Um, just enough to kind of lube the gear. But Then you'll go ahead and bolt everything together. Once everything's bolted together, make sure that the mesh still feels good uh, before securing everything and putting it into the vehicle. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I do uh, the shimming for the truck ring and pinion. And because truck tires, are a lot heavier and the gearbox or ring and pinion see a lot more load, I'm going to go ahead and start with one shim on the gear side just to make sure that the mesh is a little, a little bit on the tight side. So when I check that, it's still really smooth. I have just a touch of backlash, so I'm actually going to try adding a second shim and see where that puts us. So the second shim in, it's definitely considerably tighter, but it's still pretty smooth and consistent all the way around. Um, you check it, there's basically no backlash, but for truck, that's a really good and safe starting point. Um, again, always remember that parts can vary. You may need to add one shim on each side, uh, but basically what you're looking for is to make sure that there's not too much backlash or the diff can't move from side to side too much and that um, you know the mesh is, is correct depending on the vehicle. So with buggy you can you can start out and set it up a lot freer than with truck but with truck uh, you know always try to err a little bit on the tight side. 